Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back and today I'm going to show you how I create really cool editorial fashion images using just one light. Let's get started. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know that I usually use three to four lights on a shoot. And that's not that many. I could definitely use a lot more, especially if I was shooting in a bigger space or maybe on location or lighting a set rather than just shooting on a Colorama or Infinity Cove. But a lot of people think you need loads of really expensive lights to create cool images. You don't, sometimes you just need one. And today I'm gonna show you how I created these images using just one strobe and a few different modifiers. Before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and also give this video a like to help me create more, hopefully, entertaining and educational content. So for this first look, I wanted to create a classic stripped back portrait look. So I used a parabolic softbox. I also use this in my video where I shot on a film for the first time. So if you wanna see that, make sure you check out the link in the description or click the card up there in the top right corner. This softbox has a really deep shape and also has two layers of diffusion. So it creates contrast, but can also still be quite soft. I'm placing this to the right of the camera at around a 45 degree angle from the model and slightly above. And what I'm really looking for here is nice catch lights in the eyes and making sure that the other side of her face isn't too shadowy. I'm using black polyboards on both sides to stop the light from bouncing and create a bit more contrast, but I could flip to the white side or maybe use a reflector to fit in those shadows a little bit. After I got a few shots in this position, I moved it further to the right, almost perpendicular to the model to create a light that comes from the side, which I think adds a bit more drama to these portraits. So for this next look, I wanted to create a strip of hard light. So I used a small light modifier called a zoom reflector and placed it on a Prefoto B1 quite far away from the model. I placed two polyboards side by side and left a gap in the middle for the light to pass through and create shadows on each side. This created a really dramatic light, similar to something you'd get from like a gobo, but with less defined edges, which I think makes it look a little bit more natural as if the light is coming through maybe an open door or a window or something like that. So this is what I like to call the sunlight look. So for this setup, we're emulating the midday sun and we're creating a light that's small, high up and far away. Now you might be thinking, the sun isn't small. You're right, it's not, it's huge. But this is where it gets all sciencey and nerdy and whatever. One of the sort of golden rules of lighting is the larger the light source is relative to the subject, the softer the light will be. That basically means that a big light source or a light source with a large modifier, such as an octobox, placed close to the subject is gonna create a soft light. Whereas something smaller like a zoom reflector or even just a bare bulb placed further away is gonna create a harder, more contrasty light. So because the sun is so far away and appears so small in the sky, it creates a hard light with a lot of contrast. 
And that's the look we're trying to create in the studio today. I miss you. <laughs> I just love how these turned out. Now usually we're so used to lighting from above, but you can also get some really cool results lighting slightly below your subject. For this look, I used a small shallow umbrella and placed it to the right of camera and slightly below the model's face. This creates a light that is slightly edgier than if it was above the model, but it's still flattering on the face. Now you have to be careful with this one because if you put the light too low and too underneath your model, you're gonna create that kind of torch under chin Halloween, mwahaha ha ha kind of look that we're just not going for. So that's it, a few different ways to create cool fashion images using just one light. You guys ask for more lighting videos and I delivered. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you try any of these out, make sure you send them to me, I would love to see them. I've also created some lighting diagrams for these setups and I've linked them below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like. It really helps us support the channel and also make sure you subscribe for more photography content. If you wanna see more of my work, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ian Hippo and also make sure you check out the amazing team that helped to create these photos. I've linked everyone's details down below. So that's it guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.